Sound? Attention! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the 57th Superintendent of the United States Military Academy, Lieutenant General Buster Hagenbeck. Ladies and gentlemen, the President of the United States. Please uncover and remain standing for the invocation by Chaplain Colonel Mike Durham. May we pray. Faithful and ever-loving God, our creator and sustainer of life, we gather on this day as a thankful people, grateful for who you are and how abundantly you have blessed us. We welcome you as our special guest. Our hearts are filled with feelings of pride and great joy for this, the class of 2010, their precious families, and all who have joined to celebrate with them today. We acknowledge, Lord, your blessings upon this awesome class who sits before you. Thank you for their success in the classroom, on the fields of friendly strife, and for the many meaningful relationships they have known here. We who are witnesses are in awe of their courage and commitment and we pray for your continued faithfulness toward them as they serve as leaders of character for an army who needs them. Lord, we know there is much to do and to experience in the future for these young leaders, but we pray you will grant them this day a few moments of well-earned celebration, peace, 
and joy as they experience all that is good on this their graduation day. O oh God, we thank you for the honor it is to serve our nation. Grant wisdom, inspiration, and encouragement to all who lead and care for our people, beginning with our president. And keep in your care, we humbly pray, all those who have answered the call to serve and who do so in harm's way this day. For we pray this prayer in your most worthy name and in the confidence of your love for us. Amen. Please be seated. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the 57th Superintendent of the United States Military Academy, Lieutenant General Buster Hagenbeck. Thank you. Well, good morning and uh, welcome to this uh, wonderful celebration, the graduation and the commissioning for the class of 2010 at West Point. It's a great occasion and it's a long awaited by these young men and women sitting before us today. We're here for one primary reason, and that's to honor this outstanding class. They've met all the challenges of the West Point experience. They're ready to assume the mantle of leadership, to transition from cadet to officer, and with this, to accept the incredible responsibility that goes with leading American soldiers. This ceremony recognizes the significance of that passage. Its importance is symbolized by the statue of our distinguished guests that are with us today. Let me just take a moment to recognize some of those who are on the dais today. First, of course, our speaker, the, first, of course, our speaker, the President of the United States, President Barack Obama. We're always tremendously honored and grateful to be joined by our Commander-in-Chief. Also with us today is the Secretary of the Army, the Honorable John McHugh. The, the Secretary of Veterans Affairs, the Honorable Rick Shinseki former Chief of Staff of the Army and West Point Class of 1965. Also with us is Congressman, United States Representative John Hall from the 19th District of New York, who is also a serving member on our Board of Visitors. Another serving member of the Board of Visitors, is Congressman Jerry Lewis of California. And our former Congressman and a longtime friend of the Academy, the Honorable Ben Gilman of New York. And of course, the senior leadership of West Point and the Academy are up here with me as well to include Brigadier General Bill Rapp, the Commandant of the Corps of Cadets, and Brigadier General Pat Finnegan, my classmate and dean of the academic board. So welcome to all of you as well. And finally, to the class of 2010 that's sitting before us today, congratulations, you did make it. And as Cadet Andres Pazman would say, As your classmate, uh, Cadet Andre Pasman, would say, how short is this class? You're so short, you now have fewer minutes until graduation than the class of 2013 has months. <laughs> you know, I have a, a special fealty towards your class. As you know, I arrived just a couple of weeks before your reception day and will depart soon after your graduation. And you've surpassed all of my expectations and you've helped to make my time as superintendent the seminal assignment in my career. As a class and as individuals, you've distinguished yourself in all pursuits. 
Academically, you won more Rhodes, Marshall, Truman, Rotary, National Science Foundation scholarships than any class in recent memory. On the fields of friendly strife, On the fields of friendly strife just this year alone, you've led teams to win six national club titles and seven Patriot League championships, and you won it doing it the right way. You've, <laughs> you've led this core with distinction. You were not only the last class to have a full seven weeks out at Camp Buckner, but your leadership helped us make CLDT a rousing success, and for that I thank you. But your class composition and contributions and accomplishments None of it stopped there. You also served the community and the Army at large, from Annie Tang.